Hey guys, it's Abelot here and welcome to the first video of my record tutorial series. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to implement the firing function in your character blueprint. So I will assume you guys have figured out how to spawn and attach the weapon to the character. But if you don't know how to do it, uh, you can check out my previous uh, tutorial series on the uh, true FPS character. So for short, I've uh, created a, a, a actor blueprint class. So you just need to right click, um, create a new blueprint class and then choose actor. And I'm gonna name it uh, my weapon base. And then I created two uh, child blueprint classes for this actor here and name them uh, M4 and AK. And in my uh, character blueprint, I create a function called uh, init weapon and in here I'm gonna spawn the uh, weapon blueprint and then promote it to a variable called weapon and then attach it to the right hand of the of the character and now moving on um, to implement the firing function of your weapons uh, you are gonna need to uh, create a new uh, enum uh, and I would call it firing mode so in this fire mode I'm gonna create three variables and I'll call it gun single and automatic so this enum here is obviously gonna control your weapon fire mode uh, which is uh, single or automatic and after you have created this uh, enum, uh, we're gonna create a new variable in your weapon base uh, blueprint, and I'm gonna call it fire mod, and change the type to the enum we just created. Fire mod, compile and save, and yeah, the default value will be uh, none. And then in your character blueprint, I'm gonna call the left mouse. Uh, input event because we want to fire our weapon with the left mouse button and then I'm gonna create a new variable called uh, can shoot and then when we press the left mouse button we're gonna set the can shoot to true and otherwise set, set it to false all right so the way we're gonna handle the fire mod is that we're gonna drag out the weapon uh, variable here and get the fire mod of the weapon and then we're gonna call a switch node alright and then we're gonna create a new function in the character blueprint and I'll call it on fire oops and one more function called stop fire Alright, so for a single shot, we're just gonna call the on fire to do a line trace, and then we're gonna call stop fire immediately. And for the automatic, we are gonna drag out the can shoot here, and we're gonna call the branch no. So if the player can shoot, we're gonna do the on fire function. Then we're gonna have a delay. Uh, this delay will act as the uh, weapon fire rate. So it's just basically the uh, amount of time between two shots. So I'm gonna assume the fire rate of the AK is about 560 rounds per minute. So I'm gonna take that value and divide by 60 and then one. So the delay here is gonna be around 0.107. So after the delay, we're gonna form a loop to check if the if the weapon can shoot. And then if this variable is true, uh, we're gonna continue to uh, fire our weapon. All right. And for the released uh, pin over here. Um, after we set the can shoot to false, we're gonna call the stop fire function. 
So here you go. Uh, here's the uh, fire function. Pretty easy, huh? All right. And in your weapon blueprint, specifically this uh, AK blueprint, we're gonna change the fire mod to uh, automatic. All right. And then save. So after we finish the outline of our logic, we're gonna go into our on fire function. And then in here we're gonna form a line trace. And the trace channel will be uh, visibility or your custom trace channel. And draw debug type will be uh, persistent. All right, and for the line trace, um, I'm gonna do a line trace from the uh, weapon arrow side socket. And what I mean by that is uh, in your weapon mesh here and in your skeletal mesh, skeleton hierarchy, uh, I'm gonna create a new socket called uh, iron side, and I'm gonna position it to uh, where the uh, iron sight of the weapon is and in this function here I'm gonna get the weapon reference and then get the weapon mesh variable so this weapon mesh is actually this uh, variable in your uh, weapon blueprint and I'm gonna get the socket location and the socket name is very important so make sure you uh, type in the socket name correctly and this is going to be our start trace and for the end location of the trace we're just gonna we're just gonna get the socket rotation the socket name will also be your Iron side socket, and I'm gonna get a forward vector of the socket. So, um, so one more thing, um, you have to make sure your forward vector of the iron side socket uh, is in the x axis. So, um, for the rotation here, I'm gonna change it so that um, the x axis is in the right direction. Alright, and then we're gonna uh, add a uh, vector edition node and connect here. And this output here will be our end location for the line choice. And from the forward vector of the iron side socket, we're gonna need to multiply it with a float. Uh, to represent the trace distance so um, the trace distance uh, I think it's going to be about around 2000 yeah. alright and this is our on fire function at the moment alright and I'm going to test this out real quick uh, if I press uh, left mouse uh, the weapon gonna do a line trace and if I release the button um, it will stop the line trace and one more thing before I uh, end the video uh, I want to uh, implement a function to switch between the fire mod so uh, I'm gonna switch it with a B alright and I'm going to get the weapon fire mod and do a switch. So if I press uh, the button, uh, it will toggle uh, between those two fire mods. Then, uh, if uh, the current fire mod of the weapon is single, I'm going to change it to uh, automatic. And if it's currently automatic, I'm gonna change it to single. And then I'm gonna print a string uh, just for debug uh, purpose. 
here you go so the uh, current file mode is uh, automatic so if I press B uh, it's going to change to single so if I press and uh, hold the mouse it's gonna just do a single line trace alright and that's all I got for you for this video I'll see you in the next one